Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today I will be tying a staple for any still waters pretty well planet wide, and that is a damsel fly. Um, the damsel is probably one of my favorites. Uh, leeches, damsels, dragons are uh, probably my three favorite uh, uh, insects to imitate, um, and they are a large part of any trout's food source. So. Just gonna switch over cameras here so you guys can see what's going on. So today I will be tying this little guy here. Okay, it's a really small little damsel pattern. Um, it's nice. Uh, you want it nice and small. That's the absolute key to these. You want to keep them thin, 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 thin. Damsels are thin, so. Uh, today in the uh, vise, I have a Hens BL700 in a size 12, black nickel. Um, for the tail, I'll be using some Hens Marabou in the olive, light olive, I think it's called. And for the eyes, i actually going to just be using mono eyes. You can make them yourself. Um, I know Deb Pascal just did a... Uh, her um, uh, Georgie damsel and she showed on that how to how she makes her own eyes go check that video out um, so yeah so but uh, I'll be just using a just a black uh, mono eye and then for the rest of the body um, I'll, I'll use a rib just a silver wire for rib but for the rest of the body it's just going to be CDC in an olive okay it's a pretty pretty uh, simple pattern um, to tie, uh, you just have to, uh, just like I said, small, small, small. You gotta keep this thin. So, oh, and I'm using Zemperfly Nano Silk in a 12 out here. So, just start my thread. All the way back to the bend of the hook. Don't go around the bend, just to the bend. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back forward all the way to where I'm going to tie in my eyes, which is about there. I want to leave a little bit of room in front um, for my CDC. So now I'm just going to take... These are excellent feathers. A hens make some really nice marabou. Um, but for larger flies and for bulkier uh, uh, leeches and stuff, I'm going to use this stuff back here, the more fluffy. But for the damsel, I want to use this thinner stuff up front. Okay, so I'm just going to take take a bit off, fold it over, take a bit off, and fold it over, and that's it. That's all I want. I don't want a ton. So, that's all. It's only about 20 little fibers here, so. So, I want it about the body length past. I like having a longer tail on these damsels. So, I'm just going to pull that a bit. So, about there. I like having a longer tail on these damsels because... The thing is with the damsel, you want it you want it fairly long, um, because that's just the, the the profile of their body. But you can always nip it when you're out on the water. You can't lengthen it, but you can always nip it if you're finding that you're getting short strikes, right? So I'm just gonna tie that in all the way, just so I can keep a nice even thin body. Touching wraps, I want to get this nice and tight all the way back to that bend in the hook. Okay, and then I go under and over at least once. Okay, then I'm just gonna open wrap, open turns, come back to the front here. Again, all because I don't want to build up the body, right? I'm gonna take my piece of wire, I'm just gonna lay it in on my side here. And fairly, they're not fully open wraps, but they're not touching wraps. I got that back in there. So that's laying on the side, on my side. Okay. So now I am going to take my, because it just makes it easier to do this now, my mono eyes. You can do it later. I just find it, it, it gives you a bit of a target area to do this now. So now I'm going to go back to the front here. And about there, I'm just going to, do two, three wraps just to get it. So now it's kind of sitting sideways. Sorry if my hand's in the way, but to do this, I have to kind of get my hand in there. And three turns the other way. Three turns the other way. Just want to make sure that this is centered. 
three. And now I'm going to just figure eight this. Okay, and I'm gonna go back again. So now that that's in there, I'm gonna get a little bit of crazy glue. And then just gonna put a dab right on those eyes there so they don't go anywhere. back on ready so now I'm gonna counterclockwise spin my nano silk here just just to flatten it out I'm gonna get one CDC feather here and I'm gonna grab my stone full clip I'm just gonna go all the way and just grab the CDC Take my large pair of Renome scissors here and just cut right along the center stem, exposing those little, keeping those little fibers in the, sorry, I'm just trying to do this in the light there, but. So don't throw that away. Keep that. CDC is too expensive. <laughs> so I just, so that's all you're left with. So now I'm going to find I'm going to split my thread. Now you can do this in a dubbing loop if you prefer the dubbing loop. If you don't use a, you know, like a nano silk or something like that, that's easy to split. Uh, feel free to just do it in a dubbing loop. It's, it's the same thing. It's just, I find this a little easier to manage. So, okay. So now that it's in there, let that sit. I'm just going to spread that just a little bit. And You gotta be really careful with this CDC stuff. It's uh, it's uh, very very fragile. So just give that a good spin. You can even shorten that so it just so you don't have to hold on to it and just let it do its thing. So, so there's my little dubbing brush, if you want to call it that. So I'm just gonna put one wrap there and then kind of just almost palmer it forward. Okay, so now so that's in there. Now I'm gonna counter wrap with my wire. Don't worry if you trap something, that's okay. You don't want them all showing out anyway. So in right behind the eyes there. <laughs> twist off your wire. Actually get a grip of the wire so you can twist it. Fingers are slipping on it. I'm just going to cut it off this time. Just going to make sure that piece of wire is down because you don't want to cut your thread on that. So there. So there's your, your body. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing as I just did. Counter spin. Try to find another nice CDC feather here. Actually, I can just use the other half of that last one I used. Split your thread. Oh, I just, just broke it. Had a little knot in it from twisting earlier, so just give me a sec. I'll get past that th part. There it is right there. Counter spin again to get that to flatten out your thread. Probably should have uh, 
Probably should have put my CDC into my holder first. But hey, things happen. So, excuse me. Oh, this is a rough one today. So, just take my holder again, grab a hold of my CDC. And like I said, any of the waste from the CDC, don't throw it away because I'll show you in a bit why. So, get my thread here again. We'll put it back up. Shorten my thread because I just had it hanging down so I could do what I had to do there. Put it in. So, spread it out just a tad. Once it grabs the CDC, then you don't have to hold the thread anymore. Uh, but it, you have to hold it until it grabs that CDC, otherwise it'll just fling it out. So, there we go. So just until you get there, then put, kind of figure eight, go one over, one under, one over, and then a couple in behind. And move this all back. Use your finger, forefinger and thumb, wet them if you have to, just to get that CDC to cooperate. Get in front there. You can actually even push those eyes back if you want. Grab your whip finishing tool. And just a four or five turn whip finish. Cut off your excess, your thread, sorry. Then take your brush, whatever kind of brush you've got, and just let brush that back. Okay. Then if you've got a little piece of CDC or anything, like in the eye, like you see this piece sticking forward here, just Grab your lighter and it's gone. That's quick. CDC burns like almost immediate. So take a little tiny bit of head cement and just put it right on there. If you get it on the CDC, try to wipe it off because you won't. Uh, it won't react proper. I'm gonna actually. I'm just gonna cut that little piece off because it gets all. It'll get stiff and you don't want that. So. So there you go. So what I probably should have done there is probably should have put uh, my head cement onto my thread before I did the uh, did the uh, the head. Um, that's normally what I do, but for some reason I didn't show it there. So, but that's it. See how nice and thin that profile that body is. It's really really thin, and then the CDC will it'll uh, it'll lay back, it'll pulsate, um, and it will uh, it. it it gathers little air pockets in between those little tiny fibers in the CDC and it, it, it sheens, it shines, right? So it's, uh, it's I, I love CDC, it's an amazing material. So that's it, that's that's the, the, the little damsel, the little CDC damsel. Give that one a try. Um, if you like that video, give her a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any uh, future videos. I'm trying to do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. That's what I'll continue trying to do. So uh, keep coming back. Tight lines, everybody. <laughs>